I'm Laura, welcome back to the Marquee Kitchen. Today we're gonna to be making my favorite recipe in the entire world. I used to love raspberry sorbets, but when I cut out refined sugar, it's the one that I miss the most. So I came up with an even healthier recipe that requires three ingredients and no ice cream maker required. So let me show you how simple it is to make. We're gonna start with four cups of pre-frozen raspberries. The reason we wanna pre-frozen is they're just easier to work with. Go ahead and pour those on in. We're gonna go ahead and add in a quarter cup of date paste, and this is the sweetener that will sweeten that up a bit without spiking the blood sugar. And then we're gonna finish it off with a banana. So we're just gonna add one whole banana, and I just suggest breaking it into pieces. It blends a little easier that way. And then we're gonna blend, guys. So I let that blend for about 30 seconds, and now is the most labor-intensive part of this recipe. I suggest using a strainer. If you have a nut bag, that works really well. Unfortunately, it stains your nut bag. So, your choice. All we're gonna do is strain the seeds out of this. Now, I'm gonna be honest, you don't need to do this, but I am a sorbet snob, and I don't want raspberry seeds in my sorbet. So, all we're gonna do is now just mix this until all of the yumminess comes out into the bowl, and that's what we're gonna freeze. Now you'll notice that I'm scraping along the bottom. That will move the seeds so the raspberry puree can go through. You're almost there guys, hang in there. Little arm workout. Okay guys, and then we are left with this amazing smoothness. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's just the raspberry puree and it looks amazing. Now all we're gonna do is take the raspberry sorbet and place it into an airtight container. You can already tell how rich and smooth it is. Guys, this only gets better once it sets. Okay, now I'm gonna let this one go ahead and set overnight. Lucky for me, I have one ready, so I'm gonna grab it and show you what it looks like. Okay, and this is the finished product, guys. It is awesome. So I let this set out for about 10 minutes, and now I'm gonna go ahead and just scoop this on out, place it into my cup. And then just garnish with a few raspberries. And that's it, guys. It's perfect. This is literally one of my favorite desserts ever. If you guys make this, be sure to hashtag me at Naturally Healthy Desserts. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for joining me.